because Fox here with an updated search. So I have a profile for you guys. I've been testing a couple of different builds. Um, I did seem to fall on this bill, build. Um, I took a few ideas from a Japanese deck list. I saw the top locals on Twitter and adjusted the numbers a bit. Uh, I'm having a hard time finding the tweet. If I find it, I will link his deck list down in the description. Uh, but without further ado, we'll get into it. Um, so for the ride line, um, we're obviously Ruby Red is the same starter as every other overdress starter. Uh, if you go second, draw a card uh, when wrote it on top of. And then uh, Keanu Blue, um, the original ride deck target, but it basically when it's placed, search on Vanguard, search deck for up to one prison, or card, or reveal it, put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. And then when it's placed on rear, if one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, count plus one, so plus one, and draw a card. Uh, that skill is irrelevant because it's the only copy you run in the deck. Uh, same for Resort Pink. Uh, her second ability is irrelevant. Um, but when she's placed on Vanguard, your opponent chooses a card from the hand in prison in your prison. And then obviously the original Seraph Snow uh, with her beautiful self. During your turn, if one or more of your opponent's cards are in prison in your prison, gets 10k. If there's three or more, you get drive plus one. And then you can counter plus one to put two of your opponent's rear guards into the prison. Uh, now for the prison itself, um, I know you guys probably already know what these cards do, but just in case you don't. Um, so Galaxy Central Prison Galactalus. Um, you rest one of your units to play the card. When it's put into the order zone, you still charge three. And in the order zone, when your opponent can normal call a rear guard, they can perform the following. Um, you soul blast one. If you do so, choose one of your imprisoned cards, call it to rear, or you can counter blast one to choose two of their imprisoned cards and call them a rear. Um, so then going into the main boss of the deck, that is Seraph Pure Light herself. Um, with my one SP that I pulled from my kit still. And then when it's placed on the van, you can have us one, so let's one card with Seraphim's card name. Your opponent chooses two cards each from their hand, Rhaegar and Soul, and imprisons them in your prison. And then during your turn, all of your front row get 5,000 power for every two of your opponent's cards imprisoned in your prison. And if there's 10 or more in your prison, your front row gets critical plus one. Uh, so it's insane pressure. Um, it's the start of the deck. And it's just an amazing card overall. And then I went with more of a consistent prison build. Uh, so I'm running four McElroy to promo. Uh, once placed on rear from hand, you still boss one and your opponent imprisons the top card of their deck in your prison face up. And then if two or more cards are in prison, it gets 5,000 until the end of turn. And then we're running four Cuff Spring from BTO3. Uh, when it's placed on rear, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and imprisons, imprisons it in your prison, and then they draw a card. Uh, I'm not going for any of the on-hit imprisons, just because I feel like it's less consistent, and I want to consistently hit the 10 cards in prison. And then an old set one card making a reappearance. Uh, we're running three aggro rouge, aggro rouge. Um, on Van rear, if two or more of your opponent's cards are in prison in your prison, it gets 5,000 power and 10,000 shield. And then when it's placed, you can soul blast one. Um, when it's placed on rear, rather, you soul blast one, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and imprison it in your prison. Um, and then to discourage your opponent from calling those units from the prison, we're still running three turquoise. Um, her ability during your turn, if two or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, uh, this gets 5k rear guard only. Uh, front row rear guard, when it's when your opponent's card in prison, your prison is placed on rear, it gets minus 5,000 power until end of turn. So it just deters them from calling those units from the prison. No run, no longer running the grade two order. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, you do draw the card, but at the same time, I'm just not a big fan of it at the moment. Uh, so then we're running for grade ones for Shovel Stud, another grade one remaking its appearance. Uh, you kind of us one, so us one uh, on rear. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and prison your prison. Then if three or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, you draw a card. It's not an on play skill, it's an act. Uh, so really good. You do build the soul with the grade one. Um, so you really don't ever worry about your soul. Unless it's a late, late grind game, and at that point, you should be winning anyways. 
Um, then we're running three bag of motor. Um, it's a consistent in prisoner as well. If you if one or less of your opponent's cards are in prison in your prison, you rest this unit, choose a unit card from your opponent's drop, and imprison it in your prison. So it helps you get that first in prison going, um, which is very important. And then finally, we're running for the Violate Dragon. Uh, the effect BG, one or less cards in hand, don't have to discard for cost. As far as triggers going, uh, we're running one of the best, if not the best, ever triggers out of breath. Um, just insane. Um, yeah, there's not much more else you could say about over triggers. Um, and then I would run t uh, two OB fold or one OB fold and one of the other effect heal trigger. I would say probably the one and one is the split I've been going with with everything. Like I said in my Tom Gura deck profile. Uh, I do not have one of the other uh, heals right now I'm working on getting that, but would run one and one just so it's more consistent. Would run four of the effect crits, uh, waiting on to get those in from TCG player. Um, just helps fuel your soul for your different soul blast abilities that you run in the deck. Um, so very helpful in that aspect. We are running eight crit now. Uh, you do want to finish games as quickly as possible. Uh, there are some decks that surprisingly can outgrind you. Uh, but with Seraph So, you do consistently hit the 10 in prison. So you will have already base critical 2. And just making that 3 is sometimes just the game right then and there. Um, if you do get the over trigger, I wouldn't count on it because obviously it's only 1. But then it's just even more insane. Because if you drive check it 3rd off of your Seraph Pure Light or even your Seraph Snow. And you get a critical before that. Uh, you're making your critical four, which is just insane. Um, and then we're running three of the effect draws. Uh, helps you draw into your combo pieces. Uh, I won't really say combo pieces, but it helps you draw into your imprisoners. Um, and then it also gives you additional shield power, so it's not as bad as a regular draw. Uh, but yeah, that's the deck profile. I'm really enjoying the deck again. Uh, has been holding its own against the Ragnarok decks, but it does seem like there are certain ones that do give it a hard time. So yeah, that's the deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Um, should have the Bruce deck profile out for you guys next. I'm just waiting on a few cards to come in for that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the deck profile, remember to like the video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next video. Like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description when I find it for the Japanese player that I uh, based most of my list off of. There were are a few differences, um, but shout out to him as well. I uh, really enjoyed your build. If you, I don't think I'll ever see this, obviously, but if he does, I uh, really appreciate your thought processes and really enjoyed your build. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.